One of the major drivers of the economy is the transportation system, which provides easy access to movement of goods and people from one location to the other. In Ogun State, the Prince Dakwa Abiodun led administration have put in place various projects which include the construction and rehabilitation of road networks across the 20 local government areas of the state. One of such is the transportation master plan and the launch of the gateway mass transit buses. Recently, as part of the energy transition policy, Ogun State's government, under the leadership of Prince Dapo Abiodu, has taken the lead among the Committee of States and the Federation to unveil and present the compressed natural gas powered mass transit buses for easy movement of people from one location to the other. It will also reduce the cost of transportation and cushion the effect of the first subsidy remover on the populace. The event was held at the arcade ground of the governor's office in Okemoso, Abeokuta. The governor of Ogun State, Prince Dakwa Biodu, says the essence of the conversion was to cushion the effect of the first subsidy remover on the people. Today, we have begun the proactive yet response to cushion the effect of the policy of the federal government on the regulation as subsidy payments were no longer sustainable. We applaud the federal government for this very bold and audacious initiative. And we join hands with them in implementing various diverse steps in pushing the effects of this subsidy removal. About a year ago, we strategically and proactively formulated our open state energy transition policy. And what you are witnessing today is the commencement of the implementation of that policy. We're doing that by deploying the use of our compressed natural gas fuel mass transit buses and our e-mobility for our motorcycles and tricycles. These are better, they are more efficient in terms of consumption of fuel to cost, they are cleaner, and they are a more sustainable means of transportation anywhere in the world, and we are starting that in Ubu State, being the first state in Nigeria. This initiative was clearly anticipated because we knew that the regulation of the downstream sector was imminent and unavoidable. This has become very imperative, considering the urgent need to provide a cleaner environment and also to mitigate the effect of climate change, which we have all seen that is very, very real, and which principally is caused by the use of fossil fuels, predominantly diesel and petrol. Today we see rain still falling in November, which was not the case before. At times we are not sure whether it's Hamilton or whether it's dry season or whether it's rainy season. We see flooding at levels that are unprecedented. These are all effects and results of climate change. Governor Abiodun explained that the CNG conversion is a successful public partnership initiative, saying his administration will set up more conversion stations across the state. As your governor, I'm extremely delighted that we are able to commence the implementation of this laudable initiative. And I'm bold enough to say that we have come to yet again as the first state in the country to record this feat. This is yet another successful public-private sector partnership with our partners called Spiro, a company that has successfully deployed this in other parts of the West African sub-region. They have trained our local mechanics who have been actively involved in the conversion engineering and we will be setting up conversion stations across the three central districts of our state. This will allow us to commence the rapid conversion of commercial public mass transit buses 
and very good. Besides reducing the cost of transportation of goods and services to prices that are lower than before the regulation, this will further more and particularly provide training and job opportunities for thousands of our technicians and mechanics across the state. Abiyonu Fodor says the public servants would be one of the major beneficiaries, while other citizens would also enjoy the services in some major towns and cities across the state. We are giving some buses to our indefatigable civil servants and workers. We will be providing some buses for the use of our students in their campuses. We have earmarked some buses, some of these buses, to operate between Mowe in Bangkok to Baga in Lagos because that corridor we see is a very heavily congested corridor. That is where we border Lagos and we see a lot of cross-border migration, particularly those that are going to work in the morning and those that come back in the evening. So some of these buses will be conveying our people conveniently from the regime away from the corridor all the way to the Dubai. While others will be deployed to serve Kuto to Wale Shurika train station in Dadiri. And some others will serve the Onikolobo Ijaba corridor. While we will continue to serve the Ita Oshi to Adaton corridor. As we expand our fleet, we will be deploying buses to our major towns and cities. We will start with Ota, Sonko Ota, Shagamu. This will provide mass transportation for our citizens, particularly our young students in those major towns and cities. The governor highlighted some programs which would soon be unveiled in the transportation sector. The CNG conversion success is just the beginning as we will soon be back here at this venue to launch our e-mobility program, which is the launch of our electric Okadas and tricycle in another few weeks. We are determined and committed to the implementation of our multi-modal transport master plan, which connects our air transportation, road transportation, sea transportation, rail transportation. Permit me to share again with you that we are actively pursuing to construct a dry port at Kajola and the Papalando Corridor. This will soon be unveiling formally, very soon. And this definitely will increase our ranking in the ease of doing business and provide an alternative to the busy Apapa and Dinkan port in Lagos, thereby creating an enabling environment for more investors to come to the state. I am confident that in a couple of months, by the grace of God, we will be officially converging again, yet at our Oku State International Airport, to formally commission that airport, which will symbolize the beginning of commercial air transportation from that airport. Also speaking, the Commissioner for Transportation, Engineer Olubenga Dairo, explained the essence of the CNG conversion. The unveiling of this CNG buses before us marks an important milestone in the implementation of the state transport policies and indeed the implementation of the state strategic model model of transport mass plan. This is predicated upon, among other metrics, the reduction in the contribution of the transport sector to greenhouse gas emissions and to reducing the carbon footprint as valuable to the transport sector. The use of alternative and cheaper fuels also speaks to one of the key reasons that the Veterans Administration established the Ministry of Competition for the very first time in the history of Ogu State in February 2020. That reason is for the Ministry to plan to develop affordable transport solutions for residents, workers, and business of Ogu State. An objective that is especially poignant in the current climate of in our country. Good room messages poured in from different dignitaries and groups at the event. We are counting 
what remains for this government is legacy, 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 legacy. Uh, about three and a half uh, more years to go. We are already on the right path. Um, a lot is happening in our country. No fault of our state government. Not even no fault of the federal government. Because the economy of the country needs to take a shape. Put a Jota, Olati, Olati, Liberia. We want to buy him, we want to buy him, or to put him in a room, and a room that I pay, we will post the Pegas, my power, and we will be in it. And we will be again, we will be in it, and we will be in it. Because we will be in it, we will be in it, and we will be in it. For the intra city, for that really. And I want to congratulate the people of Ogun State who has overwhelmingly given a second term to a performing governor, uh, Prince Agbadodun. And of course, one of the performers we have seen here today, uh, a pivotal role in finding a solution to transportation challenges arising for the needed changes in our economic structure by way of um, removal of subsidy. This definitely is a major step and I think um, even the federal government is looking at something like this from what we see and of course meaning that the gateway state of the state under Prince Akwadiodun are taking a lead again in one of the many leads uh, in finding solutions the, of the challenges that we have uh, in our economy as a result of the fiscal imbalance that this government is trying to correct. I want to join others in appreciating the governor and his team for this very important role. And I also want to urge the people to use this to the benefit and you know, the best way they can. And of course, the people that will manage it to manage it very well, so that the impact that we expect it to have in moving goods, human beings and everything in and around our state, we can feel it. We want to appreciate the Governor of Ogun State and your cabinet for this laudable initiative and for this project being ready to be given to workers in Ogun State. Without no doubt, this board we give it to workers we ease of the trauma of transportation in the way and in the present the high cost of wealth is alarming. We appreciate you, sir. We thank you. We know that this can only be done through the hands of a man that happened to be a son of a teacher. Anytime we hear of you, we know you have a passion within you that you want your workers, your parents, your teachers to be at ease and to be and to enjoy the dividend of the new person. The unveiling of this year's report will, will be a lubricant for workers in Open State to perform maximally. On behalf of workers, we want to appreciate you and just like on the trees, we will continue to demand for more. We are aware you have already extended by this month the financial penalty of 10,000 naira to each worker in the state. We are still demanding for more. We know you can do it. You have done it and you can do it and you will still continue to do it. Once again, we wish of the government economic policy and sustainable development. Councilor, I would like to appreciate this commendable gesture of the Governor of the State by introducing the CJN powered buses for workers and by extension all residents of the state. Sir, you have displayed exceptional leadership qualities by facilitating this kind of initiative to our great state. And I want to, on behalf of all the students and youth constituency, appreciate you absolutely. Executive Governor, Governor, sir, I would like you to extend your 
hand of fellowship to us as students and youth of this state by introducing this kind of initiative to our various institutions. And I believe by that, the issue of transportation we face in our various campuses will be solved. As we know, CNG is more affordable, it's unique. We as operators, we have been trying for this for long. And thank God our dear state, which has the best road transport master plan in the nation. We can say that with our two uh, shares, putting our shares as the most outstanding road map transport plan. So we welcome this, sir, because it is affordable and it is not as dangerous as fossil because it does not emit carbon dioxide, which is harmful and causing greenhouse effects. We thank His Excellency for doing this for us because we are the operators who use these vehicles every day. We thank you, Your Excellency. And also, sir, we should not forget to thank you for being with us, we transport unions, because we have the most transport union in the whole nation here in the state. It's because of your hard work, Your Excellency. We thank you for all of this, and like you have been saying, we are only factories. We want you to extend this to the commercial vehicles in our dear states. We will cooperate with you. We are there with you to partner with the state government to convert our buses to CNG. Highlight of the event was the unveiling of the CNG powered mass transit buses to the public with a ride to major streets of Abelkuja. Jan Stray spoke with some of the dignitaries at the event and they bought their minds on the evolution of the CNG buses in the state. Well, actually, I want to congratulate uh, the government of uh, Prince Dakwa, Abiodun, the governor of the state, for the initiative he has taken to make sure that the CNG buses are coming to use. As a matter of fact, like you have really asked, the essence of the CNG, it will enable more, uh, more of our people to be able to use uh, the public transport system because it's going to be cheaper and it's going to be more affordable for our le less privileged people. At the same time, I want to believe that uh, there will be less pollution because we are not no longer going to be using diesel. And I'm happy that other states, particularly Kano and Katina states, are sending their people to also come and master how to make use of these uh, buses. And I believe that uh, by the use of all these things, our people will continue to get uh, more benefits of the democracy. But I want to encourage people to, I, if I say it, they will think otherwise, that as much as possible, let us not use our vehicles like they used to, uh, abroad. Most of us, we have three, four, five vehicles. If we can, let us make sure of a public transport system. It's going to be more affordable for us, and we will also be able to save more because the economy is not too good, and the best way we can save money these days is also to reduce our cost of transportation. Let us make use of the public system. Public transport system is going to help us to save more, and also to take care of our children. Today, we go a long way to reduce the hardship in the transportation system of Nigeria because of the cost of the fuel. So the buses will be running on gas. Our people should just endure more. All things will soon be okay. All things will soon be right. As everybody knows, the price of transportation has gone up. And uh, with, a, with under the vision uh, leadership of His Excellency, he had thought about this some, like at least a year back. So over time, the government of Oku State has started to sort of uh, convert its diesel buses to CNG powered. As you can see, this was even a program that was picked up by even the federal government. But Ogun State has been at the forefront of bringing this support to its people. So with the launch of this program, uh, we expect the prices of um, uh, transportation for our citizens to reduce, thereby bringing Suku as a form of subsidy by His Excellency. As we all know, with the removal of full subsidy and the foreign exchange devaluation, it has led to high fuel prices. The state 
with its advantage of a crisscross of natural gas pipelines, decided to start using natural gas as a foil solution for its mass transit. So we decided to convert our mass transit buses to CNG powered. NGTSL has a company partnered with the state and we have been able to convert the first set of buses successfully. I would ask us to embrace it because the plan is for us to also convert, we are working with the government to convert your public vehicles, public vehicles, so that if we can help to alleviate the sufferings of the people, so that we can help for people, I don't like to call this a palliative, I like to call it an intervention so that we can help for the masses to feel the pulse of good governance. Well, it's a very welcome development. You know, when there are alternatives, because I believe this is an alternative to petrol or diesel, when there's alternatives, the tendency is for prices to come down. So I think it's a welcome development. I want to help the masses. My advice to our people is that they should try this experience and see how it will develop their business and help them further. Well, uh, I want to thank God for today and I want to thank God for what His Excellency Prince Dapuapiodun is doing in Ogun State. The unveiling of the CNG buses that we are here today is a good idea. It's a welcome development. We know what the transportation looks like now in Nigeria, and we know um, what our people are going through. For him to have deemed it fit to convert those buses to CNG is something that is very welcoming and something that the people will love. Uh, we know that the price of fuel in Nigeria today has skyrocketed because of the removal of the subsidy. And so introducing the CNG buses will further ameliorate the problems of our people. The CNG buses, I believe, will work with electricity or gas. And uh, uh, this is something that we have been looking forward to. And I want to say that this is the first government in Nigeria that is doing this. And so this that the Excellency has done today, we're proud of him. We'll continue to support him and support this administration. And I know that our people will enjoy this service you know, I'm sure even if they are going to charge for it, it will be a token. And so this will reduce the stress of what our people are going through presently. So I want to congratulate the state government and congratulate His Excellency on this. It is evident that the people of Ogun State are at the verge of experiencing smooth movement with regards to the movement of goods across the state. With the presentation of the CNG powered mass transit buses to the public, the cost of transportation will be reduced and the people will go about their daily businesses with ease.